Hi, this is Justin from Tech65 and today we are here at the Communic Asia at the uh, Nokia Connections 2011 and here we have the uh, Nokia N9 that is just recently announced actually here at the Nokia Connections 2011 in Singapore and here we have today John from Nokia to show us the Nokia N9. So John, show us the Nokia N9. Okay, let me start off with the hardware. The Nokia N909 is built on, on a unibody concept, which means that it's manufactured out of a single solid piece of plastic. There are no lines. It's all one solid piece of plastic, and the color is throughout the whole plastic. So if you would get a scratch, it does not scratch away the color. We have cyan, we have magenta, we have black. From that, the phone is basically built from the display in so that the mechanics and the electronics are built and then the display is put on top into a single solid piece. Um, if you look at the top, we have the door holder for the USB and the micro SIM latch that pop out. The, the SIM, micro SIM is hot swappable so you never have to turn off the device. The display is Super AM OLED and the uh, display is made with Gorilla Glass that's laminated to the LCD in a single manufacturing process. That means that um, you ha we have superior legibility when you look at the screen. Also, we have the clear black display, which is a um, polarized filter so that it's highly visible in direct sunlight. And, and we, we feel that this brings one of the best displays in, in class of any mobile phone. It does, it does, definitely, as you can see. Also, um, if you look at it, the um, the glass itself is slightly um, curved so that when you run your finger against it, you can feel the curve. And that's very important because the front of the phone has no buttons. We completely maximize the phone so that everything is screened. No space for the phone. If you compare that to the iPhone 4, it's just about the same physical size, but with a 3.9 inch screen compared to a 3.9 five inch screen. So it's really perfect for your hand, for your pocket, but you have the whole screen. All right. Uh, in terms of the uh, hardware specifications, like the CPU, you know, the GPU, everything, what's in it? Okay, so it is um, the OMAP 3630 at running at one gigahertz. We have that because we wanted to make a good balance between performance, which we think we get with the operating system, but without having to resort to over-processing and um, having to go to a larger battery. Uh, the Mego operating system is highly tuned so that you'll notice when we demonstrate it, even if this is still um, not final software, that it's very responsive and very smooth. Uh, it, it's um, hardware accelerated. I'm sorry, I cannot remember the uh, GPU but we uh, support OpenGL ES2 so that all of the um, UI, games, and other things are hardware accelerated. It has one gigabyte of RAM for applications to run in, and it has either 16 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes, depending upon the phone, for mass memory. So there will be two versions of it? Yes. Okay. We support dual, we have two microphones on it, so when you're recording, you record in stereo, and then when you're in a phone call, it will use the two microphones for active noise cancellation. Okay, can you show us where the two microphones are on the yes. phone? They're, they're invisible. They, they are invisible, One wow. is behind the speaker grill, and then the second is behind the flash. Wow, <laughs> okay. So, so that, you can see a tiny, tiny, tiny little notch at the top of the LED. That's the second mic. Fantastic. This is running a uh, eight megapixel autofocus Carl Zeiss um, lens camera with uh, f uh, two point four. Yes, right? exactly. And uh, what else? Um, well, I'll get to the camera software okay. in a moment, but it takes um, 720p video as well, and uh, 30 frames per second. And how about the uh, the, the, the the flash? It's a uh, dual LED. Dual LED. Okay. So that's the hardware. Um, trying to think. Oh yes, an NFC. So we have NFC. NFC can be used for pairing. We have NFC speakers, NFC headsets, but we'll also allow sharing content via NFC as well. 
How about front-facing camera? Is there a front-facing camera? Yes, there is. It's in the lower corner right there, and uh, that will be enabled for video chats and for third-party developers to do uh, applications that would use it. Uh, oh yeah, just some other things from a hardware size. It is quad-band GSM, pentaband WCDMA, meaning it will work with every single 3G network uh, running WCDMA in the world. Um, it supports um, all flavors of wireless LAN, 802.11, A, B, G, and N. Basically everything in the world. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, are there any connectors to it? For example, is it a micro USB or what, what kind yes. of connectors is so it? So we have a uh, 3.5 uh, uh, millimeter headset jack with composite uh, video out, and we have the um, micro USB okay. with uh, for charging and for data connectivity. Okay. On and the side, we have the uh, power button on and off, which is also used to unlock the screen, and volume buttons. All right, great. We, we tried to keep the, the, the hardware very elegant, very simple, focused on, on very aesthetic uh, and make it very beautiful. All right, thank you so much.